Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another one of our tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to be covering a, a little bit of the face detection algorithms. Uh, the face detection uh, algorithm is part of your OpenCV library. It comes inside your... Um, it is in the data folder. Let me show you here. And it's, it's here in the hard cascades. And if you open, you go into the file, you're going to find all of the XML, the frontal face, eye pairs, left eye, lower body, and so on, mouth. And it's a, it's a very nice, to, you know, algorithm. It works pretty good. It's very popular. But I'm going to be showing you uh, a different application. And the way I'm going to do, I'm going to go here. And let's, and let's I'm going to, let's say that uh, sometimes when you're working with uh, uh, large databases, you, you, you're working with lots of pictures and you want to, um, you want to make sure that you have room in your computer to because some of these 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 databases as you can see here some are like 173 megabytes 233 megabytes you know they're huge and you don't want to if you only want to test your algorithm you don't want to download all of them so what i did i did a i tweaked a piece of code that you can actually go in into these websites and uh, grab the image information let's say that you go into this page right here and let's say that you want to know how many people are in the here and the names and but you don't want to go and do it individually you don't want to go through all of them alphabetically I mean there's there's a lot of people there so you just want to do let Python do it for you so let me And it's this code is going to go into the website, it's going to parse, it's, gonna, it's a little bit of scraping in, involved in here. But you just want the names uh, and, and uh, the, the names of the people involved in the photo. And let's do it, let's see if it works. It should work. And let's run it. And as you can see, he got all the names. It started here. It started with Bing Crosby, Bing, Benjamin, Ben Eliezer, Bisondelli, Vicente, Lizarazu. And let's see. And as you can see, these are the same names. It's Bing Crosby, Benjamin, Ben Eliezer. And I did it in a way that, uh, that it gets numbered. So you have a key, a number key associated with the image search name so it will be easier later on if you are working with these pictures you know what what you're working with there, there's uh, another one uh, in another tutorial I'm gonna do some type of a loop that I can I can work on them and I don't, you don't have to do it individually but that's another tutorial so but sometimes let's say you just don't want all of them let's say that uh, in this case you just want let's clear this this you just want one picture for example you just want one of these pictures I think the, uh, is 150 by 150 so you just want one of them a 150 by 150 instead of the, the whole thing and, and let's do this one and it's gonna go into that website and retrieve this person right here, Bob Balsby. Okay, let's run it. And there it is. It went in there and he retrieved it and he got just that image. I mean, you can, it's 150 by 150. And he tells you, I mean, you can do it for all, 
all of them like I showed you before or you can do them individually one per one let's say you, you want to do a face detection on that face and you can you can do it uh, th this is this is one way and but in the next tutorial I'll be showing you how you well let's let me let me show you in this one this this one um, the camera is gonna throw me off but let's let's try it if if I get cut off I you know what happened if, if the the camera threw me off because I'm using the same camera for the, I'm not I don't have my webcam with me it's, uh, installed is in my other computer so it might throw me off but let's try it um, where are the files Oh, I forgot to show you. He made a copy of the picture also. He saved it in, into the file. And this is one database that I that I that I um, downloaded and let's do face detection. It might it might not work, it might throw me off. Oops, wrong screen. you can see he saved them right here he did the face detection as you can see so it, it didn't throw me off it's still recording I believe and uh, I don't want to push my luck because I don't want to have to do this tutorial all over and over again but let's let's try another one let's do it on this and all of these people here uh, let's do it this a little bit so it doesn't interfere and let's run it she's working in the background and there it goes you got them all and let and you can even get people of the of the internet let's say you can see Let's try it on, on this on this one just right off the internet. And let's try it. And there it goes. And you can do it right off, off the faces of the internet. And uh so this is what it does. This is is um it, it saves you time if you just want to test the algorithms. You don't have to go through all the and do them individually. I'm trying to sometimes you know you you you're working with not too much time and you don't want to spend all day downloading pictures and that's just an easy way of testing. But like always, thank you for listening and if you like the tutorial, please subscribe and click the like box and I will see you next time with another tutorial. Thank you.